greetings loved ones from me in my unmade bed right here smack dab in Georgia I'm home how the hell are you and I just decided I would start a vlog either for my main channel or for patreon I don't know really where this is gonna go up I figured that I would just start filming and kind of see where the weekend takes me well the week um, I'm gonna be actually out of town for a week and a half which I'll get into why I'm here so um, as you probably could tell by the title I came home for my bridal shower which is happening tomorrow today is Wednesday the 27th of April so I'm having my bridal shower here at home on the 28th in the afternoon and then on Friday morning me all of my Georgia girlies my bridesmaids and Nevin who's flying into town and Finley's older sister Delilah who's one of my bridesmaids as well she's also flying into town we're just gonna all pile into the car drive down to the beach in Florida and we're taking two separate cars so we're going to Amelia Island I am so excited it's gonna be absolutely incredible and then all of the groomsmen and other people are flying in to meet us there and I'm missing one bridesmaid for this weekend, which is Georgina, Finley's little sister. She's still in school, she's in college, she's having finals week, it's a lot, you know? And then my brother Colin is also not coming on the trip, so I just wanted to say that ahead of time. You know, we're missing two from both parties. One groomsman, one bridesmaid. But anyways, we'll be in Florida for the weekend until Monday, and then we'll drive back to Atlanta. We're like getting a rental Turo car, Lindsay and I are, and then we'll just like drop off the Turo, sleep here at home again, and then in the morning on Tuesday, we are flying to Virginia for our 30-day walkthrough at our venue, which is just Finley's family's house, and we're gonna like meet with our caterer, our planner, and other vendors. And then I'm also doing my hair trial with my hair girl, so I I'm getting my hair professionally done, but I'm not getting my makeup professionally done. It was just something that I wanted to do myself. I got a ton of comments on my last video that I put up, which is, and I love this stuff. And so many of you were like, I don't think you should buy like all new products for the wedding. Like I think that you should just borrow stuff, which is great. But a lot of you also were like, why don't you just get your makeup done? And I'm like, girly, because it's like over $200 and like, I want to save that. And also I want to like practice my Miss Megan makeup shit just to kind of reminisce on old times and my old skills, you know, brush up, if you will. Anyways, that all aside, um, I'm also, oh, Lucinda Limon Did y'all miss me? Did y'all miss me? Yeah. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I'm I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I'm too ready for this. But my body's too delicious for you, babe. I'm at a weird angle, so it's kind of hard for you guys. I see me dance. We'll it's okay. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> We're also going to be doing a cake tasting and deciding like what flavor cake and frosting we want because we know what we want the cake to look like but we haven't like eaten the cakes. So we're gonna have our cake tasting there as well and then we'll be there until May 6th and then we're flying home on the 6th like at night. So yeah, I'm gonna have a packed week ahead. Oh my God, I also forgot to say that tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. I'm going to see my wedding dress with my shoes that I'm gonna be wearing at the wedding and we're gonna do final alterations. Right now, I'm not sure if Lindsay's coming with me or not. She said that she might if she's not too busy, but either way, Nevin is coming. So I'm so excited because Nevin has been virtually at all of the fittings, you know, on FaceTime getting photos and videos of the dress and stuff. Um, um, because it's her mom's like dress bridal shop that she works at and so I've been doing my fittings with Erin We've been facetiming Nevin in getting her opinion, you know stuff like that But she's never actually seen the dress in person. I can't wait to see her It's gonna be fantastic and then yeah I'll see all of the rest of my peeps my bridesmaids and a couple of other of my like, you know Hometown friends and stuff like that at the bridal shower tomorrow afternoon. So things are happening I just wanted to like start this do an intro. I think my mommy just got home with Lula from the groomer. So I'm gonna go show you um, kind of what's going on in the house because my mom literally has put so much time and effort into making the house beautiful for the bridal shower weekend. And just, I guess it's only a day, but still like she's really gone hard. Like she's been working really hard. This is my Grammy and she put this in my bedroom. I posted this on my story last night on Instagram and so many people replied that I need to remake this photo of my Grammy at my wedding. So we'll see. Rachel, my photographer, if you're watching this, now we have a shot list. Just kidding, we already have a shot list going. Also, hold on, I'm just gonna show you all the things. These are some gifts for my bridesmaid girlies. These, something in here, 
And in here, my mom also framed this Christmas photo from 2014, our iconic silly shot. This was the last year that Colin came home for Christmas and it's really cutie. So we asked my mom to develop and frame those. So Lindsay has one in her room too. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Lindsay was like, has this always been here? This is where Lula sits on the stairs. She loves it. Guys. Lou is, Lou is ready for her reveal. She's, she's there. I'm revealing something else right now. Really cute. Lula, wow. You went to the groomer. They gave you a little tie-dye. You're a little hippie dog. You're a little hippie dog. What are you doing? Hi, Tika. She wants to show everybody her new collar. Her yellow collar. So beautiful. You girls are so beautiful. Look at all of the yellow little lemons, yellow roses. Gorgeous, darling. We got so many lemons for lemonade, lemon oh, drops. Some little bowl. She went to Home Goods. Oh my God, Home She's Goods. The hall right now. She my store. was inspired by you. Apparently. Wow. Look, so many sunflowers. It's incredible. Hi, Rory. Do you want to show everybody your little collar, please? Hi, mommy. Hi. You're bringing in the hall? You got a little picture. Look at that. Wow. Her. And her. Wow. Mom said live, laugh, love, home goods. Rory, show everybody your little sunflower bow. I would love to see it. There it is. Picture? picture? There it is. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful, girly. Okay, and then last thing, and then Lindsay and I have to head out to run errands. Look at the freaking porch. We were out here this morning with Tika. She was sunbathing and we were just embracing all of the bouquets. My mom got new cushions. She seriously went hard. Like they literally like pressure washed the deck. They like did a bunch of home improvement things. Look, she got new little sunny pillows. I love it. Amazing. Oh my God. You wanna see me play soccer? <laughs> Okay, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, oh. oh my god. Wait, I forgot about mom's new. She turned the old shutters. We also got new shutters on the house. She turned the old shutters into a um, planting bed. Isn't that so cool? In a little garden stand. She stepped out. The birds stepped out. Mom stepped out for us today. Do you want to go run errands? I'm so ready. Let's go to Michael's. Back at Coachella 24. What's going on? We're here. Lindsay has a really big agenda for us. We're going on a lot of errands right now. We just went to Michael's, but the boxes that I wanted weren't the ones that Lindsay wanted, so. Now we're going to do it. I'm sorry, but they're kind of ugly. I will buy them if there's nothing else that is acceptable, but we're gonna try Joanne because I felt like maybe she would provide for us. Mm -hmm. And if not, we'll have to go back to Michael's, which would be really unfortunate. They were, we were just there. <laughs> The boxes were literally just white cardboard and Lindsay was like, they're so ugly. <laughs> you know, Why it's unfortunate that? because two of the girls that I'm, we're gonna give like our gift box to are flying. So Megan was saying, yeah, we don't wanna get them like a cute basket, basket or something. Cause the, it's not collapsible. It's, they can't even probably take it with them, it's which is practical. probably unfortunate. It's not practical, but it would be for the, I guess I'm flying too, yeah. so. She's right. We're gonna head to Joanne and then we're gonna do a little grocery, big grocery shop. For Tell them about Fresh Vegas. We'll be going to our favorite place. We'll have to vlog there in the candy aisle. Yeah. The Fresh Market. You'll just see. We're gonna get some special things. Oh my god. We should get a little bit of a, a sweet treat in one of these. We just got cookies. Come on. I'm gonna eat these in one second. <laughs> one second. Just a little something. If we get dark chocolate covered espresso beans, mom's gonna eat all of them. No, 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 no. We're not gonna tell mom. Wait, really good. dark chocolate sea salt caramel. Yeah, let's get some of these. You already know where we're going. We're the best girl for shopping at the <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that's their tagline. It's so nice here. Are you gonna get a sub? Totally. Storytime Publix Edition. So I never get pub subs. I never go to the deli because it's pretty much all me. And so I was like, Okay, you know what I'm gonna get a sub with Lens today. Can I, we're gonna really. It was actually it her idea. It was. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> maybe we could just get food when we go because we already had to go to Publix, you know. Anyways, we go to the deli. They seemed like they were swamped, you know, like they it was had three so ladies. 
three they separately. They were back the hell up. People but they had pre-ordered. Yeah, they had like online orders. So they just had a lot to do. Lindsay starts checking out. She already got her sandwich. And, and then I went and I ordered while she was doing that. And they had this thing on the menu. It was like garlic and herb tofu. And it was like a vegan one. And I was like, oh, okay. Like I'll just get that because I realized I was like, when I first started building the sandwich, I was like, oh, I'm not going to get any meat. And she was like, oh, are you sure? And I was like, oh, I guess you guys have tofu. And she was like, do we have tofu? I've never, nobody's ever ordered it. Literally nobody has, that's the most Southern thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Nobody's ever two ordered two vegetarian things on the menu. <laughs> they had one that was like, yeah, vegetarian, and then the other was vegan. One of them was like the Mediterranean like hummus. I should have gotten that. Kind of, kind of like a bop. Honestly, it did, it sounded like a bop. But then I was like, garlic and herb tofu, that sounds great. And they're like, do we have tofu? I've never seen the tofu. And it was literally, it was supposed to be like marinated tofu, like garlic and herb, so it would have like tasted good. But then they, they found the tofu and it was just like in a block. And they were like, it's not crumbled is that okay and then she was like no just cut it and then crumble it like one of the other ladies told her and she was like okay but it obviously is just like straight up like plain tofu you know and she was acting like she had never even like seen tofu in her life you know she was cutting it being cut like it. i don't i've never worked with it that's 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 cheese, it? cheese oh on it and then they like drenched it in ranch it was vegan ranch no. She was like, what else on there? And I was like, just what's on the garlic and herb tofu sandwich? And she was like, you want some veggies? I was like, I guess spinach. And she was like, and you want ranch? And I was like, I guess regular ranch. Oh my God, really? And then is she was like, and cheese? I'm like, this isn't a vegan sandwich anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> and cheese. <laughs> like, the, just the most Southern thing in the entire world. Take a world. big bite and do a review. Okay. Mine is pretty good. It's a little oily, but I did ask for oil and vinegar, so. Be honest. Mm. But there we go. Don't lie. I don't think I got any tofu in that bite. Mm. Keep chomping along. Mm. It's bad. It's bad? It's literally just unseasoned tofu Ooh. for like half the sandwich. Oh, we should have gone with the, um, the, the Mediterranean. Mediterranean. I yeah. knew it. Should we go to Subway? But like they asked, <laughs> should we go to Subway? They asked so many questions to so many people about the tofu that I felt like once I asked I couldn't be like you know what just never mind yeah because they were like going to such lengths to like find it she's mm -hmm. like do I need to go to the produce section and like get tofu from there and then she like bring that? it over here and cut it and the she lady was that? like no oh and then also on the sandwich there was avocado and she had already put the tofu on it and then she was like what else do you want on here and I was like what do do we put on the avocado and she was like you wanted avocado and then like picked up the tofu and like moved it off to like spread it on and I was like I'm just being the most annoying bitch in the world just because I asked but for something But they didn't on the know menu. how to make something that was on the menu. Yeah. You know like I guess it's a weird item but Lindsay, you, didn't you have the same experience with asking for something on the menu? I so? asked for the ever roast chicken because I was like that sounds good I'll get like chicken instead of turkey and then she was like the turkey and I was like um it says ever roast chicken <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, um, well, we have the chicken, but it's not cut. Like, literally, just it's just sitting in like a chunk. So I was like, just a turkey's bag. <laughs> it's ready to go. I'm happy we got some food at least. We were starved. Mm -hmm. The avocado is pretty getting, random in here. Is it getting any better? No. I need to not get avocado unless I see the actual avocado. Oh, yeah. It was I, in I, that little plastic thing. I asked them. I was like, is your avocado a spread? And they were like, yeah. Damn it. Yeah, I think it's like that at most. I think it's like that at Subway, too. Okay, we're going to eat avocado this. Avocado should not be squirted. No. It should be applied with a utensil. Please. Please. Hey, y'all. How's it going, y'all? It's the morning of my bridal shower, and my house is insane. I literally woke up at, like, 8.45, and for me, that's about 5.45 my local time and I didn't even go to bed until like two so it was just a bit deranged but it's fine and I woke up to a chorus of dogs just singing their hearts out barking away so loud so many variations of how loud my dogs can be because Aurora's bark is really like boom, 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 like very low and then Lula's is more like bah, 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 bah. and then Tika is just like screams like she just straight up screams and I'm 
I'm like, what's happening? Uh. And Lindsay brings earplugs, I'm pretty sure, whenever she travels. So she, I already know that she has those in right now. She's still sleeping. But my parents also hired a cleaning service to like prepare for the shower today. They're just really going off. Um, it's really cute how much they're putting into the event. We don't really host at my house very often, so it's just like, it's nice to see. But yeah, I woke up to just a cacophony of um, a lot of various sounds and vacuums and different voices and barking and I was like honestly I should just get up now like why why am I trying to go back to sleep right now so I just immediately got dressed I forgot so many things at first like I got in the car and I was like I didn't bring my shoes no bridal shoes so I had to go back and get those also my mommy gave me these yesterday which my dad gave her as a gift for their wedding and I'm just borrowing them but I just want to show you because they're so beautiful and so special a strand of pearls, a string of pearls for me from Lisa Hughes. Love this for me. I'm so excited. I'm gonna wear these uh, with my dress today and just like see how they look and everything. But yeah, I got these, I got my shoes, brushed my hair out, and then I went to the local Starbucks and I got a brown sugar shaken espresso drink. I don't know. I haven't been to Starbucks in fucking years. Seriously, it's been so long. But the girl at the counter recommended this and so I was like, why the hell not? I also got a blueberry muffin and I'm going to pick up Nevin. I was gonna drink coffee at home, but then there was just like so much going on. I was like, I need to get out of here. I told my parents, I was like, I'm getting out of here. I'm not gonna be back until, I don't know, maybe like 12:30. and the shower is at three. But let's try this little Starbies drink, why not? Yeah, that's good. A lot of ice in there, that's some good ice. I'm glad I got a nice drink, you know? Kinda tastes like a sugar cookie but not in a too sweet kind of way. You know, I was I was scared with the brown sugar drink that it would be way too sweet, but it's not. It's like an oat milk, mmm, creamy, delicious. <laughs> this is great. I wonder how much coffee is actually in here. It's looking pretty creamy, but it's fine. I'm just saying that because I think I need a lot of caffeine right now. I gotta go pick up Nevin. She told me she didn't want anything from Starbucks, so I said, okay, whatever you wish is queen. And she took a red eye in last night from LA, so she is tired, I'm sure. She landed at like 5.30 or like six in the morning, something insane. And then her mom drove her back to their house here in our hometown. She slept for a few hours, she showered, and now I'm going to pick her back up because her mom had to go into work before her, so Nevin's just gonna come with me to the fitting. So yeah, I have a couple more minutes before I need to go get her. I told her I'd be there at 10.30 to give her enough time to get ready and everything. But anyways, um, I wanted to say I can't believe, I think I'm still in denial that today is the day of my shower. It's like kind of setting in a little bit more with like everything, you know, the day of an event when you wake up and like the hustle and bustle is happening. Like that kind of helped it set in a little bit more, but like I just can't believe that it's already the end of April. Like what the hell is going on? And I'm gonna see so many friends today. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be wild. Anyways, cheers to my bridal shower. Can't believe it. The day's really here. Getting really good content. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna blur everything. <laughs> it's like the perfect length too. It's perfect. Color I need to, I'll probably just do really simple like pearls. Like not hangy ones, but just, yeah. I can't get like a cutie look. It's just stepped out. Banks' new album is such a fucking slay. I can't get over it. Um, I don't know if you guys ever actually saw Nevin, but she was the one holding the camera in the dress try-on situation that was just happening. And um, I'm just so freaking pleased. So I thought that that was my final dress fitting for my wedding dress, but I think that I'm actually gonna have one more at the end of May so that they can do the bustle and stuff like that because they had to hem it to my shoes this time around so they were just doing a lot of like cutting off of the bottom or not cutting off yet but pinning it up and just kind of like matching it to my shoe line and stuff like that and I also just wanted to make sure that the necklace looked good with the dress and everything and it did it was just great I loved it so much and so I'm gonna have another dress fitting at the end of May before I get the dress and bring it to the wedding in Virginia so maybe my parents will pick it up after its final alterations or something or maybe it will be ready after my last appointment I don't really know but it went great I just turned on the camera to say that I loved it I love Ann Barge I love going there and it was so fun to have Nevin there too because normally it's just been like my sister or my mom but Nevin being there was really cutie pie oh fuck I forgot I don't want to go this 
way. There's construction everywhere, whatever. I'm just gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna deal with that, okay? It's funny that this is happening now because I just wanted to say as well when I turned on the camera that the amount of insane Atlanta drivers, it's just gotten out of hand. It really has. I kid you not, I almost died three times in total, twice on the way there, once on the way home, and I'm like, I'm driving normally. I'm driving like a normal person. Hopefully my house isn't as chaotic as when I left, because I'm gonna need to lay down a little bit, take a little bit of my anxiety soothing tincture or some shit. There's really a lot going on, you know, very high energy. I'm trying to keep it down here, but it's hard, man. It do be hard, it do be. Okay, the line's moving. I love you. I'm looking at this dog in front of me. Love him too. Guys, I'm doing makeup again. Lindsay brought me products so I could use them. Things are yeah. getting really insane. She's getting crazy over there. She might she might use everything in the bag. You never know. She might use five things. She might use 20. I'm using a BB cream. CC plus. A CC plus. It has my sunscreen. Look at something. This lighting, lighting is... Well, I'll take something of you gorgeous outside. Fooked. I haven't put on a lip color or anything. I just She's just, looking soft glam. A, a light glam. She's looking like JVN came in the building and queerified her. If you know, you know. If you don't, sorry. Look, you kept telling me I got queer eyed. Mm -hmm. I'm running a little behind on my getting ready, guys. I'm gonna have to do a quick makeup. Yeah, you'll have to do soft glam too. Soft glam and put my dress on. Mom's already ready. Yeah, slay, slay on it, mommy. Literally, boots down the house, mama. <laughs> do you ever say that to them? Or? No. Oh, she's the one that taught it to me. Boots down the house, mama. Slay on it, mommy. I did a little. Oh. oh. Are you okay? <laughs> I did a little, little fishtail. I'm gonna go put on my dress. I'm really yes, hungry. Let's put it on. Yeah, you need to eat something. Hi, Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. I did a very light eyeshadow. No lip yet. I, I keep forgetting. Oh, it's because I need to put on chapstick first so that the lipstick doesn't dry me out. But we actually have some good lighting here in the bonus room. So, I put on my little earrings. Cute as a cupcake. Wow. Hello, Slay. Hello, um, Miss Boot. <laughs> On the hand. Look, Tika, we're playing Homestead Bingo. What did you get? I got lots of them. Lindsay has made a meal over an open fire, Nevin. Free space. Has used an axe, my Auntie Tina. Has forged for wild mushrooms. I put me. I put me, but I was told I can't. And she'll be going into her overnight bag for her wedding night. And she'll be picking out pieces that she's gonna wear. Oh, but it's like she's in the dark because she's blindfolded, you know? So she's a little picky. Yeah, she's a little picky. She's kind of in a blackout from the wedding. And she's just gonna pick out what she wants to wear. Do I have to put it on? Yeah, you have to try to put it on. <laughs> okay. You have to at least try your hardest. Cue up the music, mom. <laughs> so, watch this. Oh. <laughs> Nobody okay. saw that coming. Mom. Anyways. <laughs> well, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Put on very white. One notch. Maybe two. Look at your outfit. What are you wearing? Oh, Who is she? <laughs> oh, I mean, designer gown. I'm surprised you got you got everything. Oh, no, what do you what do you what do you say? What do you up for? Was this a dress? I feel like this is like a slip. All right, it's post shower, and we have been in the kitchen, mostly me. She, but she's joining me, my woman. She was, you know, having a bit of a. She's posting and having a de-stress moment after the four and a half hour shower. And now we're making lasagna <laughs> for the drunkies this weekend. Yeah. It's actually a great idea. We Guys. made two um, hash brown breakfast casseroles and now this is the lasagna. Incredible. Um, the shower was amazing. I just wanted to let everybody know. It was. 
Hey y'all. We're doing a big lasagna bake. A big bake. Cake and bake. Who inspired this for you? Well, whenever I went to the beach last time, we stayed in a beach house and it was like a little bit, you know, out of the middle of town. And we had a hash brown casserole and a lasagna. Courtesy of Tara Osborne. Yeah, Chris Loman and Tara Osborne made it, made both of them. And it honestly saved it, us. I know, because us. like, what did your mother pack? For that trip. To be honest, I don't remember if you packed anything. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, oh my God. I was like, is this I a trick know, question? Did she buy another failure? Oh it was actually really <laughs> unexpected. Like, I died. I died that oh. Chris, Chris made a lasagna and Tara made a hash brown casserole. Yeah, well, Chris loves to. Sense, and I was like, well, you're on your own. I mean, we were like 23. Like, we didn't, you know, need our mommies, but. It was still so good, yeah. It's a gesture. Wow. I'm just gonna spread out. See, this we is why I told you we like needed spatula. two jars. Do you want me to get the spatula okay. from the shower? Lula's sleeping in my bed tonight. My little cutie pie picture. Her little bow tie. Her little sunflower collar. So cute. I feel like this vlog is really long already, and we haven't even left for my bachelorette trip yet but things could get pretty chaotic or something on the batch trip and maybe I won't even get that many vlog clips so I'm just gonna keep this going but the night is the night of my bridal shower um, and the morning we leave to go to Florida I'm waking up at like 6 in the morning 6 30 or something and then we're trying to be on the road by like 7 which is insane because that is 4 a.m. my time but it's fine. We're just gonna get some coffee, go pick up Delilah at her Airbnb, and then go get Nevin, and then drive down to Florida with us four. And then I think I already told you guys this, but Abby, Gina, and Mia are driving separately. And then we'll all meet down there. And Finley is taking a red eye flight tonight. He actually just got to the airport. It's like 12.30 Georgia time, but it's only 9.30 our time on the West Coast. So he's like just now getting to the airport for his red eye and he's like going through security and all that jazz and just is gonna try to sleep on the plane, but he's not really a plane sleeper. So I guess it's good that he's getting into the house first out of everybody who's coming on the batch weekend because he can probably take a nap. I'm hoping for that at least. All of my things are packed. All of my gifts are ready to go for my girls. It's gonna be totally wicked. And today was such a special day. It was so cute and fun and I'm so happy that I got to share it with you guys. And yeah, just thanks for all the sweet messages. I got a lot of messages today like I've watched you for so long and I'm just like getting emotional that you're actually getting married like I feel like I know you you know and all of that kind of stuff so thanks if you feel that way about me that's really sweet it was just a really cutie day it was nice to see you know all of my friends and also have like my mother-in-law and sister-in-law be able to meet my friends and my family because my aunts came into town my aunt tina and aunt diane and they're actually really cute they're having a girls weekend with my mom as soon as we leave my mom's gonna like clean the guest room and they're gonna stay the weekend and i think my dad's going on some kind of a golf trip or something for work so he's not even gonna be here either it's just gonna be the lady it's awesome for them. So they're gonna totally live it up while we totally live it up. And it's gonna be sweet. I have to hit the hay, but I just wanted to say I love you and it was a great day. And yeah, I'm gonna continue the vlog. So I'm not going anywhere. Guys, look at this. We're here, Amelia Island. Gorgeous. It's probably too windy. We're here. We're at the beach, it's so beautiful. Our shit's everywhere, but this is Finley and I's room. Gorgeous, Gorgina. I'll take you into the bathroom in here. Gorgeous, this is where we're staying. Can't believe it. I gotta tell y'all, I don't know how much vlog footage I'll be getting throughout the weekend, but I'm gonna bring my camera places or try to or just kind of leave it out, see who picks it up, you know? Try to get things here and there every day. We drove, I drove like five hours straight and then Lindsay drove for probably like an hour and a half or so towards the end. And then we got here closer to like three. We've just been like in the pool, hanging out, seeing everybody. And we're still waiting on our um, car of girls. So we have three more people coming in the car. And then we have three more people coming um, who flew in. And so we're waiting for six more people. And Lindsay and Nevin just left to go on a little grocery run with Alex and Delilah, which is really nice as well. And we're just hanging out, you know? We're just taking it easy. 
Drink me some Trulies. Soaking up the sun. Can't wait. Deranged weekend in my life. Starring me. Star of the show. I'm back with my little beaster. We just got to Florida. Florida. Show them your new bathing suit. This Ripping is what he got up. himself for Christmas. So stoked. Super badass. Awesome bathing suit. Blue, new, modern materials. Flexible, hydrophobic. Got a sweet patch on it. <laughs> Yo. For me. All the girls have a silly little penis straw, yellow. We have a hangover kit, which has Miss Love What I Be, and also the Party Smart. This is the sarong slash towel Amazing. for our beach day. For Love photos. that. Megan has presented everyone, including herself, with a homemade cup Maddie painted to these with here me. Taking the beach, we're gonna take photos. Thank you, Maddie. Um, Love you, also, Queen. All the girls have a brew Grand Reserve for mimosas, a bottle, popping. You'll see this later. We'll see this we'll later. We'll film this later. Okay. I'm on the floor, floor. I want some. What? <laughs> wow, what is that? I could see it like casserole. the one I Hash brown casserole, delicious veggie casserole for us. And then the meat one is still in here. We're partying. We're having a totally wicked time. Yeehaw. I am Miss Shrimp tonight, Miss Shrimp 2022. Yeehaw. You having fun, baby? Woo! Getting married! Woo! Wow. Girth matters. Closed two days in a row. I'm still going. I'll just walk it. Beautiful day. Gorgeous. Hi, guys. My go to is just pull my pants down and move. That's what Finley loves to do when I take out the vlog camera. My bestie Abadab is, is in the back seat. We're driving Dude. home. Dude, oh, over 1,000 wigs. wigs. I thought it said wings, like he ate over 1,000 <laughs> wings. I was like, holy. <laughs> we're driving through, well we just left Florida and we're now in southern Georgia, but... Head of the billboards, it's honestly horrendous. Yeah, we just saw a sign that said over 1,000 wigs. And we thought that he ate 1,000 wigs. I feel like I'm driving down an infomercial highway yes. or something like that. There's a lot on this side of the highway. But I wanted to turn on um, the camera and say, hello, how's it going? We are alive. We survived the batch weekend. It really wasn't that insane. I mean, we were talking about this today. Speak for yourself. When we were leaving today, Hayden was like, it was a pretty tame weekend. You know, nobody threw up. I was like, I threw up. Lindsay threw up. And he was like, thank God. I just needed to hear that at least like a couple people threw up and now I feel like it was a successful weekend, totally. And I was hell like, yeah. yes, hell yeah. So I needed to share that with you first off if you're wondering. And um, we are driving home, just us three, everybody else, you know, that flew out or they had to leave earlier in the trip on different days. So we're just vibing, you know, just catching up, just talking about the weekend. I would say overall, if you guys had to rate the weekend on a scale of one to 10, what would you rate it? I give it a 12. A 12 out of 10? Yeah. I feel good about that. I would give the weekend a solid 3.7. 3.7? Could have been better. Could have been a lot better. What would you, what would have taken nice. it over the edge for you? Mm, more strippers, for sure. At least more strippers. A couple more than we already had. We had a lot staying at the house. Finley was one of them. That was my biggest disappointment. Was There was actually no strippers. <laughs> Um, we were talking about this last night, like how a traditional, I guess, well, traditional in what sense, traditional you know? Traditional in the movies. Traditional yeah. in the movies will have, you know, strippers or whatever. And Finley asked, like, two of his best friends last night, Tim and Hayden, he was like, Are you guys, like, disappointed that we didn't get any strippers or, like, got to a club and, like, get bottle service? And Hayden was like, 
Well, I just, I kind of think you would have hated that. I think you just would have hated it. So I don't know if, I'm not really disappointed that in any of that, you know, they were saying that he probably would have just been really uncomfortable or been like, do you want to go just walk on the beach? Yeah, I would have given her $100. Given her $100 to go, go for a walk with him. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we all we all had a great time. It was amazing. My favorite question of the weekend has been who is your favorite person to hang out with that you connected with? But we already kind of like already said all of that. Already gapped. Gapped. Yeah, we already gapped all through it and like you guys don't know everybody so you don't really need to know. But I would say my favorite person to hang out this weekend was Queen Abby. I'll just say it right now. <laughs> and Finley, because I well I'm gonna spend my whole life with you. But it, I'm not even lying, okay? Because Abby's been my best friend since we were two years old, and we, it was just great. It was just great. We got to reconnect. You're in the car with us driving home. It's just like you're a kid in the back seat. You know, we're just being a couple silly wheelies. Convenient answer. I'm she's glowing. So yeah, con convenient answer when she's the only one left in the yeah. car, okay? Uh -huh. I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that one to the bank. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. So that's my that's my confessional. We were considering actually having a confessional. Gina suggested that we all Nobody set up a room. Been really Who's funny. your favorite person that you hung out with, baby? Nobody asked you. It's also me. Yeah, honestly. You're my favorite. Oh, baby, that's really nice. Is that your genuine answer? That's, that's my, great. That's my genuine answer. Final answer. That's Final right. answer, Abby. Abby on all fronts. Final answer. Woohoo! <laughs> That. Who's your favorite boy this weekend to reconnect with or hang out with? Hayden. Yeah. Finley will literally be hanging out with Hayden and will be like, I just love you, man. I just I just love you. But you always say it like, like yeah, we're just having so much fun with you. You know, love hanging out. For saying mean things. Yeah, you guys do have that witty banter. What we secretly mean is how much we love each other. Exactly. Anyways, I'm going to turn off the camera. Love you guys. <laughs> We had a great weekend, it was really fun and silly. Hello, we are in Virginia now. We flew from Georgia to Virginia. We have some wedding prep to do here, so we're doing three things specifically today at 2 p.m. I'm doing my hair trial, and then tomorrow at like 10 a.m., Finley's cousin Charlie, he's an architect, he's an icon. Honestly, I'm gonna link his YouTube channel below because he's just so fun and silly, and I love him, and I want you guys to support him as well. Um, my shoe's making squeaky noises on the ground, if you could hear me. But he offered to make our wedding arch for us, and we drew it all out on the beach weekend, our batch weekend. We were just like drawing up some designs and going over them all. So tomorrow, he's gonna come and we're gonna try to like bring the vision to life and walk around the woods and find the pieces of wood that we want to use in the arch slash portal. I'm just gonna say that, okay? It's a portal to a new married life. And so yeah, that's happening at 10 a.m. At 3 p.m. we have our final walkthrough. So a final walkthrough is basically like 30 days before your wedding, your entire vendor team, so I'm talking people who tow in the restroom trailers from the people who are bringing in and setting up all of the equipment for the band, to your caterer, your planner, whoever, you know, whoever you've hired. They all are invited to come and walk through the venue space with you so that on the actual day they're not like where do I plug in this this cord you know and they know that they have electricity and water and all those things so we're doing that tomorrow at 3 p.m. and our wedding planner Katie as well is coming of course and she is bringing a box of pieces of cake and then we're gonna do our cake tasting together which honestly I feel like I should do for the vlog who knows that's at least what I'm thinking up here so I told her that I would at least like to try basic vanilla basic chocolate and lemon and then maybe like a raspberry or some other kind of berry cake and then she can just surprise me with the other ones that she wants to put in the box and then I asked for all vanilla frosting because the outside of the cake is gonna be like all white but we are gonna have like some funky details so I just want like classic vanilla buttercream anyways <laughs> so that's the gist I think I just wanted to update you we're here we got in um, late yesterday evening and then we just like went to dinner with Finley's parents and it's just been chill and none of his other siblings are home like they normally are at Christmas, so it's just us and them, and we're just getting everything done, planned for the wedding, talking about stuff, because the wedding's going to be happening here. So yeah, but it's a beautiful day. I'll take you outside. It's really nice out. And it rained so hard last night, so I'm glad that it's not raining today. The birds are singing to us. Love this for us. I love a May in VA. This is awesome. A little loud. All right, so 
is it okay if I put some texturizing powder in throughout here? Or are you scared? I'm scared, honestly. I'm scared of it. Okay. It was so hard to like brush out and yeah. through. And even like when I was in the shower trying to wash it out, it was like very, very prevalent. Okay. There. Very hard to brush. So what about now if I'm gonna put some hairspray? Totally. How does that work? That feels good. Do you have like a preference of a certain anything? No, I think that you can, you can totally wing it. We love walking. So I could take a tree like this, um, that like little, that little guy, one. full of vines and stuff. Yeah. Hi. I like that Lulu, Lulu. Lulu. Hi, Visha. Come on. Chaos. I'm looking for something a little bit more sturdy. Hi, Ruckus Mouth. This is our ceremony site down here. So Finley's sister and brother-in-law got married on this side, and then we're gonna do the old flipperoonie for our ceremony. And if you can see where those two shovels are that are marking in between the tree, sorry for if you can hear the plane, that's where our arch is gonna be. And behind it, all those stumps are gonna have like statues on them or ferns. So that'll be really nice. And this is the aisle. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 So yeah, let's suggest POV, you're sitting across from me on the swing while I braid my hair. Today is the day of our 30-day walk through, and we're currently just kind of puttering around. Well, I'm puttering. The boys are working. So Finley's cousin Charlie, who's he's also gonna be one of our groomsmen. I was saying this, I think yesterday to you guys, but he's an architect and um, he's building our wedding arch for us, or wedding portal that is. And we just spent a little bit of the morning just walking around picking what wood we wanted to use for the arch and um, just kind of finding like the right pieces, just taking a little nature walk, you know? And then now I went back up to the house, I had some breakfast and then the boys got their chainsaw and now they're cutting down all of the wood that we scoped out so that we can start digging the holes and doing the tamping rod thing and securing all of the wood and putting it all together. So we're gonna try to get as much done on the arch today as we can before our 30 day walkthrough with our vendor team that's happening at three, but it's only like 12 something right now. So we have a lot of time and I brought my book down here. My friend Summer gifted me this book the last time I saw her and it's called If the Buddha Married, Creating Enduring Relationships on a Spiritual Path by Charlotte Casal, PhD, author of If the Buddha Dated, which Summer said that she read. And then she was like, this one feels like you need it more than me because you're the one getting married. And I said, okay. And um, I've been reading it. I've been really enjoying it. There's some real seeds of wisdom in here, honestly. I might even read you some just because we're here and I bookmarked this page. Notice if you dominate the conversation or shrink with fear. Notice if you are truly taking the needs of your partner to heart. Notice the complaints, theories, or points you have attempted to make a hundred times to bring more vitality to your relationship and loosen the entrenched patterns. Stop acting in the same predictable ways. And I really liked that because I feel like a lot of relationships can become over time like a just a pattern, you know what I mean? Of just like reactions that you've just like always had. But that was really helpful for me to hear about just like switch it up, literally do anything else, respond a different way, take a different tactic, you know? So that was nice to hear. Um, and I've been enjoying the book. My hair is really knotted from my hairspray that was in it yesterday from my hair trial. It's so funny at the hair trial. I'm gonna talk briefly about it because you guys probably just saw like the final product or something. Sorry, I'm ripping. I know some of you are cringing. But Sadira, the lady doing my hair, she we were talking about doing a big chunky braid. So she put in this product in my hair. It was like a texturizing powder. And it, my hair, seriously, when you put product in it, just like clings to it. It just like drinks it all up and it just like got super tangly and like I had just showered before I came like I had clean hair so maybe it was just because I don't really use that much product in it and like it just really clung on to it but it got really really tangled and hard to brush through and we were both just trying to like collectively help each other like I would 
hold on to the hair while she was brushing through it or she would grab pieces of it to like piece apart for my braid and I would grab the under part and then just like karate chop the knots out and after a while I was like can I just go wash the product out it hurts so bad and she was like okay yeah and so that was kind of funny it was just like one of those things where neither of us could have known that my hair would have reacted that way but it did but what can you do you know i washed it out we blow dried it we just restarted and my hair turned out literally iconic i'm so excited for it i'm still trying to decide if i want to put the pearls in it or if i want to do these little white flowers that are all around here anyways i'm really rambling a lot but i just love you i'm so happy that i got to share all of these experiences with you from you know the bridal shower to the batch weekend I'm sure I got at least some little things on the batch weekend. I was really trying to live it up in the moment, you know what I mean? Anyways, can't believe it's really 30 days today. So exciting. Okay, I'm gonna read now. Hope you're having a good day. Teamwork makes the dream work. Incredible. Strap everything together. Well, so so we, what we do is we ratchet strap. Or oh, my belt is big as a fucking brick house. <laughs> Need to replace this battery. Okay, everybody. These are the cupcakes that we have left from the tasting. It's basically one of each. So I'm gonna go over the flavors with you and tell you, well, I can tell you right now what our favorite was. I think our collective favorite was lemon lovers with raspberry filling and vanilla buttercream. The second favorite was the classic vanilla, vanilla buttercream. That was actually a lot of people's number ones. The other flavors that we got were cream cheese pound cake with caramel turtle filling and cinnamon buttercream. So out of the five flavors, I think that was the fifth for a lot of people. It wasn't everybody's favorite, but it was one of mine. Honestly, I loved it. It was just too sweet for them. It's understandable. And I don't want to make anybody, you know, feel like they're going to have a sweetness overload. Feeling bad as a goose neck. Finley ate five cupcakes total. All of us had like bites of them. Like that's why we have leftover. We like cut them right. in half. Half a quiche and some taters. We fully had dinner and then we ate all of these. I think I said earlier that I would vlog just Finley and I doing the tasting, but cousin Charlie stayed. We ate with Chris and Lilla, his parents as well. And it just became a whole thing. You know, we had to try five flavors. There were so many cupcakes. We were like, we have to share. And I'm glad that we shared because it was nice to get outside opinions other than our own as well. Um, but we also tried the chocolate chip marble with chocolate buttercream. And I'm just not a chocolate frosting kind of a gal. That was like this one right here. And I liked that it was kind of like a marble cake kind of a situation, but that was the only thing that I really not enjoyed about it. I didn't like it that much. No, no, not my favorite. Yes. I, <laughs> Finley's number two, or th was it your third or something, was the um, double chocolate cupcake mm. with cookies and cream frosting. It would have been better with delicious vanilla cupcake with delicious cookies and cream but when your mom said that, you said trashy. Trashy for a wedding cake. <laughs> and then I looked at him and I was like, what? And he was like, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. But um, yeah, I don't think we'll do cookies and cream frosting for it. It was good and it was delicious. It also reminded me of, fuck, there was this place that we used to go to in Charleston. I think it was literally just called Cupcake. But whenever I visited Charleston, which I was obsessed with Charleston, it was actually Fun fact about me, College of Charleston was the only school I ever toured. And then I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to college, so I don't need to go there. But um, his cousin went there anyway, so now I can live vicariously through my Queen Isabel. Um, but Ooh, I caught a little bus. From the cupcakes? Off those cakes. I made a little bus. Get my shirt. Yeah, lady, I love you. I'm gonna marry you and take you away. Take me away where to Costa Rica? For mom. <laughs> Your vlogger, I'm gonna get you. Yeah. Take you. Take he you took away. you guys away. I love you like my baby okay, loves cupcakes. Can you show them what it looks like normally and then push it out? Normal? Well, it looks pretty huge normally right now. Yeah, just because you have a food baby. But push it out. It oh it. my god. I can't suck it in. Okay, here, push it out. Oh, you also got your sunburn line was like. I'm so ugly now. Because he was wearing high waisted. 
bottoms. I wear high waisted on me. I'm a high waisted bitch. <laughs> Just like me. Just like many of us, actually. I guess the most important thing for me to tell you guys was that the winner for everybody, all five of us, was Lemon Lovers. We loved that one. I think that we'll probably pick that one. She said on our initial Zoom call with um, our cake vendor is Girl Meets Cake, Misty. She's an icon. I talked to her on Zoom like the first time that we were talking and it was just so amazing. Like I just really got along well with her. Do you guys like these chalky peppermints? They mm. taste like chalky soap. Delicious. That's disgusting. Anyways, all I'm trying to say is that Misty is cool as hell and she joked around like, you can just pay me an Oregon wine. <laughs> no, I'm actually paying her for the cake. It's fine. Um, but I also do want to give her a bottle of Oregon wine because she said that her and her husband love it. But anyways, Shout out to Misty, shout out to Girl Meets Cake. We loved every single flavor, but I would say that our definite winner is the Lemon Lovers. And it sounds like it's us. Lemon Lovers? I mean, that was basically the theme of my bridal shower was like lemons, lemonade, and sunflowers. I'm just a yellow gal, it just makes sense for me. The overhead lighting in here is not fantastic, so I look a little strange, but um, I'm really glad that we just got delivered our cake tasting in this TJ Maxx bag. Um, Katie just brought it to our 30 day walkthrough today and I was like, wait, I guess this is kind of like a COVID change. Like instead of having the tasting with people, they just package it to go. And I get to see my dog tomorrow. And I get to see my dog tomorrow. And I get to see my dog tomorrow. Me and Noodle and Brutal and Poodle Head. Oh no. We're gonna dance till my dance and dance is bread. Yeah, yeah, me and my dogs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me and my dogs. It's been a great day. Thank you for watching the tasting. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing more wedding and Ren Fair preparation for a oh. Ren Fair welcome party and wedding. I wanted to tell you if you want pillows tonight, you can go back to the house and get them because I'm using both pillows. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're learning how to fashion Finley's played for the Ren Fair. His Matheson ancient tartan. We're watching an authentic Scottish video. The, the tartan is the design, the plaid is the whole thing together. Yeah. Just above the knee. And it's all nice and even all the way around. Okay? This is gonna be fucked, I already know it. <laughs> <laughs> when I pulled it across, I was like, ah. You're kind of slaying. <laughs> it's kind of giving Met Gala. It's Leona. <laughs> Finley's peeling so much. I think I'm gonna end this off when I get home to Oregon. I was gonna do it now, but I think I have a lot of reflections and I don't have time to say them all. Hi, we're home now. I've just been sitting on the couch with the doggies and editing this vlog. I have some laundry going from the trip and Larry really wanted attention, so I figured he could film the outro with me. He's being very lovey because he's my little mama's boy. Um, but it's been a couple of days since we came home. It's Sunday, we got home on Friday night. And so we've just been doing a lot of family cuddle time and hanging out with the pigs, seeing all the wildlife in the yard. There's been a lot of deer. It's still freaking cold here. It's in like the low 50s and high 40s most days. Super gloomy, rainy. It's just a lot. And I've just been reflecting like, oh my God, I'm so happy that I got to go to Florida and experience like high 70 to 80 degree weather and get some sun on my skin, soak in that vitamin D. We both just really, really needed that. And you know, it was so great to see family and friends as well. And I just feel like our trip to the East Coast was just like so wonderful. And I've just been really enjoying editing this vlog because it was just very silly and lighthearted and also covered a lot of, you know, wedding prep stuff that we've been doing. And I feel like I've been kind of sharing wedding prep throughout the past year, like since June, when we really started getting into all this and I found my wedding dress 
dress and everything like that but I feel like I could have shown more so I'm glad that in this vlog I was kind of talking about more stuff and um, just sharing what we've been doing because we are less than 30 days away now and so we are just going to be moving like wildfire honestly and um, we leave here again on the 17th of May we are road tripping home for that we will be in Georgia first for a friend's wedding before we head up for our own wedding in Virginia and then we're gonna go on our honeymoon to Costa Rica and then we're gonna stay in Virginia with family for a while and celebrate like birthdays because there's a ton of birthdays in Finley's family in June and actually now that I think about it both of his sisters have birthdays in July as well but we are not going to be staying in Virginia for all of July too we're gonna be coming back to Oregon and starting to to hopefully pack up our house to move to Vermont, but that's all dependent on if we find a house when we go to visit Vermont after our honeymoon. So currently, this is the plan. We get married on the 4th. We go to Costa Rica for a week after the wedding. When we get back from the wedding, we'll kind of reconvene, repack our bags, get the dogs in the car, road trip from Virginia up to Vermont, and get like an Airbnb, and just kind of scope out the scene in the town that we want to move to. And really what Finley and I realized after kind of taking more time since our initial decision to move to Vermont in October, taking more time throughout this year to just like keep planning the wedding and just like watch Zillow and whatnot. We were just kind of like, I think we need to be there. Like we can't just look online every day and you know, do that whole thing. I mean, we could, but I feel like it'll make more sense to us and feel more real and we'll get to like talk to the locals and go to the co-ops and like look on the bulletin boards for listings and talk to people through word of mouth and like plant the seed and be like, we wanna move here. Can you help us with my Vermont family or people that we meet there? Um, we already know some people as well in the town that we want to move to. So we're hoping that they can kind of help us scope things out. And then and we'll kind of just stay there for a little bit scoping out the scene seeing you know if it's bringing anything to light rental wise or owning wise we would ideally like to buy a house but if like a rental is all we can find or we find like the perfect rental then we would go that route but it's really just one of those things where it's like we'll decide that when we go there and we see the options like in person and our touring and all that kind of stuff um but yeah the dogs are coming on that adventure with us which is great because we're road tripping so we kind of just like have the freedom of going around with our car so i'll try to take you along that journey as much as possible with vlogging and being being remote for like the month of June. <laughs> Um, but obviously I'm going to be trying to like live in the moment as much as I can because there's like a lot of change happening in my life and I'm honestly really excited for it. I feel like this year in Oregon so far, I mean obviously I love my friends, I love my neighbors and there's always good things here, but like the weather has been depressing as Dude, it has barely been sunny. We have had a very, very gloomy May so far, and normally it starts to like kind of become summer around now, but it's just not. And I feel like after going home to Georgia and seeing Florida and in Virginia, we're just like, damn, the weather's really different over here. I kind of miss that East Coast weather. You know what I mean? So we are for sure ready to take on the month of June on the East Coast and take you guys along for the ride as well. I know that this is probably like a lot to take in, a lot of like dates and things that I'm saying. You know I say a lot of things, but it's not real until it's real. So I'll try to keep you in the loop as much as possible as like I said, there are a lot of changes happening in my life. It's not like we've bought a house in Vermont yet. We just want to do that. So we're taking the steps to get there and want to start scoping the scene just kind of like we did with Oregon when we first wanted to move here we took all of those road trips and I vlogged all of that experience of like hey we're in this town today this is how we felt about it this is like where we want to move we think and then just kind of like looking and going on tours from there and sharing that experience with you so we're just going to kind of take you along for the same journey and yeah man it's all just becoming so exciting too with all the wedding festivities like it really really set in for us after having our batch weekend and celebrating my bridal shower and doing all of our like wedding prep stuff at home and just kind of like seeing everything as it's like starting to come into bloom again for June. We're like, oh yes, these are the trees and flowers that will like probably be popping up around the same time that we're getting married. So like nature is coming back to life. Everything is just looking so nice and ah, the vision's really 
coming together. After a year of prep, it's all coming full circle, baby. And I am excited to share all these experiences with you. Uh, we will have a videographer for our wedding. I got a lot of questions about that. So we will have like a wedding video whenever it is like finished and ready to go up. Like obviously we'll share that experience with you, but I don't think I'll be like handheld vlogging on my wedding day. I, like I said, I'm just trying to experience everything in the moment. But that being said, you'll see a couple more videos from me before the wedding, before all of these travels take place. And um, yeah, just put on your seatbelts, fellas, cause it's gonna be a wild ride. It's gonna be a wild summer, okay? Uh, but I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the absurdity, the purity, and the loveliness that is putting a wedding together because it's all very cute and wholesome and fun and stressful. But also at the same time, I feel like this past week and a half and like this whole vlog, like no stress, just good vibes. Like I was not stressed out. I was just really enjoying myself and that's what you want, man. We are past this stressful phase of like securing vendors and stuff. It's really just like waiting now. So thanks for waiting with me. As always, I have a Twitch where I live stream three times a week unless I am out of town. And I also have a Patreon where I upload extra content. So you can find me on those two places as well. And I will just see you guys in my next video. Stay smiling. Love you. Bye.